Welcome everybody to the second part of our tutorial about NoSQL database. In this tutorial we want to talk about MongoDB. And what is MongoDB? It's a scalable high performance open source NoSQL database written in C++ and it has a lot of features. Document oriented, uh, full index support, JSON de style document, replication and high availability, auto sharding, querying, fast in place updates, map reduce and a grid FS and commercial support. These are the main advantages. In addition for that we have some disadvantages. Um, for example it's important to know the strength and weaknesses of any NoSQL database provider. Uh, the main uh, advantages here is operation data store of website, user registration, profile, session data and caching and even login but MongoDB is not good for system with complex transaction like banking and accounting and traditional BI and problem requiring SQL uh, uh, you know SQL query normal SQL query uh, so they have a philosophy here and what are going depth in that but they are focusing on flexibility, power, speed of scaling and ease of use and in, the, in this tutorial, I want to show you how we can uh, install the MongoDB on Microsoft Windows 7. And we have uh, uh, about 13 steps that we need to follow in order to get that done. And after that, I got to show you in the part 3 of this tutorial, I uh, got to show you how you can use C Sharp in order to make your uh, first app using MongoDB using uh, the data x object for NoSQL database. So first thing you need to to do is installing two files okay so we can copy this harbor link okay we go to this website mongodb.org uh, and we need two files initially we need the driver which is uh, for the C-sharp language so we download it from here and the other thing we need to go to download and we need to download the MongoDB database so so after you download two files the MongoDB for your Windows I'm using 64-bit and the C-sharp driver you're ready to go uh, first thing you extract all the files to uh, MongoDB uh, 132 you know we just extract this this uh, file extract it here okay and after that you go to C create a new folder uh, called C MongoDB and just copy all the content of this file into MongoDB okay and after that we need to go to my computer properties and go to advanced system settings you go environment variables and we have a bath here so this one you can go edit and you just put a semicolon and see mongodb the bin folder okay so if we if we go to this file mongodb commuter okay if you go to C we have a MongoDB folder. It has uh, these files, the bin, and we have all the MongoDB and MongoD and all the related files to to run the MongoDB database. So this is the first step that you need to do. After that, we created a, a new a new file in uh, C data DB. We created those two folder. Okay. So as you can see here, we just you know put a new folder and created the data, and uh, inside the data we created a DB file where all our database is gonna be stored. Here you can see I created a database. I show you later how you can create one called Tasks, and you know the default size is 65 megabyte. Uh, so this is the next step. After that, you need to go to the CMD and type the following command 
C Mango D Ben Mango dash dash D bath C data D B you just copy and paste on the console so just copy this and go to your command line type paste and press enter and after that you just do the second command and you know just copy this and just copy this copy this and base copy this and press enter and after you doing all the stuff you can come here and type mango as you can see here we connecting we have version 2.06 and connecting to you know we connecting to the server everything is fine uh, you can run the server by typing mongodb or mongodb I'm sorry so when you type mongodb uh, we can see that we are running the server and you know everything is fine so you can put net start mongodb it's an optional here but it's automatically will be running after you type mongodb okay um, so to remove the service you can type this command see mongodb bin I will put this all the stuff here in the you know in the YouTube uh, subscription uh, below so be tuned for that okay so if we type mango for example uh, okay and you type mongod you can see that we are running the server okay this is a pretty much for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial um, I'm gonna show you how to work to make an app using C sharp uh, to make uh, all the operation include to to no SQL database for example you can um, uh, load the data you can search the data and you can you can do all the related stuff to the database and uh, other things so guys uh, don't forget to see the next tutorial and thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial